So we have question 23 from the past paper link down below and we need to factorise 3x squared minus 16x minus 12 and it's a two mark question. Now this is a slightly more complex factorisation question than a standard one because we have a 3 in front of the x squared but I'm going to show you how to work it out. So the first thing that you can do which I believe is applicable to all factorisation questions that you do by hand is to work out which pairs of numbers multiply to make that last number. Now you don't need to take into account whether it's a minus or plus yet, just working out which pairs multiply to make the 12. So for example, for times for 12, we have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Those are all the pairs. Now you don't need to write the opposite way around, like 4 times 3 or 6 times 2. These are all going to be included. So these are the pairs for multiplying to make 12. So next up, let's get the brackets formed. So we're going to have a 3x in one bracket and an x in the other bracket. That's the only variation of the x's we can do. So it's just going to be an x and 3x because that's going to give us 3x squared. So we know it's not going to be any other combination for that. Next up, another point we now want to take into account is that there will be a positive and a negative because they times together to make a minus 12 so a positive times a negative is a negative now from here I think it will take up too much space or effort to write down all the variations you're just going to have to look at all the variations and see which work so what you want to do is look at it and think we're going to use a positive in one bracket and a negative in one bracket and then we want them to add to make minus 16x so for example I've looked at it for a while I've gone through a few variations in my head and I've worked out it's a 2 times 6 because if we have a plus 2 and a negative 6 to give us 3x plus 2 times x minus 6 when we do times them out we're going to have the 3x times minus 6 which is minus 18x and we're going to have the plus 2x now I think this is probably the best technique I can teach. These things just require practice and if you're not used to factorizing I would start with simpler ones that just have an x squared and yada yada after and then move on to more complex ones which have a 2x squared or 3x squared in them. Now if you do have any other questions or queries just leave them linked down below. I'll do my best to get back to you in the comment section and explain more there. Anyway thanks for watching the video and best luck with your maths.